and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. We have to unfortunately pilfer an old friend today. He helped us out in the past. Like seriously, in the actual past. It was really nice of him. But now we're going to have to kill him. Because we literally have no choice in the matter. Which is kind of sad. But on the plus side, uh, we get lots of souls going through the forest. Now, you'll probably notice I'm dead without any souls. Because I've parked them uh, where an invader got me. It was a close fight. But unfortunately, my pyromancy didn't just reach well enough. And the uh, sorcerer got me. But otherwise... Hey, well that's just rude. It's the it's the uh, thief guy we've got to be a bit careful of. The, this guy's not really much of a threat because you can just do this. So he's dead. So you see, cool. Now, important NPC up here is Alvina. Alvina's cool. Say hello, Alvina. Is it not so? That thou art new, thou fared well to find me, but comest thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true, forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark, <laughs> tis but a fairy tale. Have thy own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Uh, I'm just going to walk off. Bye. I ain't got to make a decision then. God, I do want to join the Covenant, probably, but I don't want to make that decision yet. Now, if you say, like, yeah, I want to help you out, she's like, cool, here's a ring. Go F up some dudes for me. And that's where you end up in this area. You can see my souls over there. There is a couple of cool goodies around here. Small mushrooms. These giant mushrooms from before are just as lethal. They really, really dislike, you know, everybody. You really don't want to get punched by any of these dudes. Bam. I think there's an item around here. I can never quite remember. Oh, we have to go through these unfathomably sturdy mushroom men to get there. Whoa, what happened to that guy's body? He partied on out of it. Party on, shroom. Best of luck with that. Beep. Anyway, dead shrooms. Ooh, gold pine resin. And inside is a lovely chest, which I think has something quite of value. The enchanted ember. All these embers are really quite useful. Uh, I only don't plan on using any since I'm just going raw damage here, but, you know, if I wasn't, that'd be quite handy. The little pitter patter of mushrooms. Okie dokie. Let's go slay us an old friend, which is incredibly sad. On the way back, we'll do some other bits and bobs, like go item hunting in the, re the other part of the forest, which is risky because, uh, well, you'll see. I won't spoil the surprise. However, we do get a unique cutscene here now, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm actually going to heal up. I want to go into this fool. Because we've done the DLC before doing our doggy friend here, we get a slightly different scene, and if you didn't otherwise. And if you look, this is the Ulysil Sanctuary. Of course, it's all been leveled now. That's what's left of it. Uh, I guess time marches on and all that. This is poss- or possibly this is where you fight the what's my bobbers in the lake. You know, the uh, Sanctuary Guardian. Hey! Fluffy Doggy's grown a little bit since we last seen him. I mean, if he was this big fighting Manus, that would have been really handy. Now he remembers us and he's all sad. We are battle buddies. I saved you. He's obviously not very happy about it, but he has to do what he's got to do. And he'd rather he'd rather us be dead than be corrupted by the abyss, which is, I believe, the decision he comes to. Now, the only fortunate thing here is that nah, has nothing. He's a giant dog with a huge sword, which is really bad. Now, we have to be quite close to him. The, the further away we are to Sif, the sort of worse things get. Now, Sif does... He sort of does fear us a little bit, because we've got a massive, massive weapon, which gives us a huge physical advantage about smacking him. As you can see, he can't take much punishment. The benefit here is, if we, if we roll correctly, we can avoid both swings. Like...
Because of his sort of stature, being underneath Sif is a really good place to be. There's not an awful lot you can do about it, you see. He does, however, hit quite hard. He has a bit of sad music, too. Again, backing off here is the worst thing you can do. And if you want to heal, get close. Just be underneath him. Ah, uh, here we go. He's going to do a charging attack. If you block the first one, you have to block the second one, pretty much. Because of the delay. However, you roll the first one, you get the idea. Now, he's probably going to start being wounded. I don't know if he's quite low enough. I'm going to use something like Pyromancy to show you. There we go. He should now back off. And he suddenly starts swinging slower. He's wounded. He he can't move anymore. Because unlike a lot of the other bosses, this Sif's not dead. He's not undead. He, does, he tires out. And in this case, he's, well, having a bad time. Come on, Sif, buddy. Reconsider. Just let me have the ring. He can't even swing anymore. I'm going to put him out of his misery. He did a good job, buddy. Rest easy. That is one sadly dead pupper. Yeah, I think the uh, entrance to the sanctuary has been sort of like that way somewhere. Who knows? He's not a particularly difficult fight if you stand underneath him like that. And of course, we do have a very powerful weapon and a, a, a quite high level already, so. Whatevs. Now. See if I can show you the more dangerous part of the forest. Seriously, you think I'm kidding? Sif, it's not the dangerous bit. No, sir. Not at all. It's interesting the fact that, like, Ulysil's just been, like, washed away under the water. I wonder if he swam down there, there'd still be bits there. I assume that would that'd be the case. Now, I need to find out where I am and where I'm going, which is over here somewhere. We should better spot one looking for almost instantly. Right, this is where we want to go. I can't see them. Ah, there's one. See that gigantic creature over there? That's what we're looking for. Guess who gives absolutely zero shits about us being here? These guys! They have an aggro range of about 50 billion feet as well. Which is excellent. Try luring it out. Yeah, so this takes you to... Uh, this goes to the Hydra down there. If you want to not fight anything, we can just bail out. But we're not going to do that. We're mad. We're going to be fighting the Cheshire Cat over here. The Cheshire Cat is uh, absolute savagery. Like, seriously, look at that. He does have a long delay on when he hits you. They actually look like Alvina. I wonder if these are the male versions of Alvina? Hard to tell. Or maybe she's Alvina's children? I don't know. Now, there's two more, and you actually have to fight both at once. Which is about as easy as you'd imagine. Because you get squished. Now, what you want to do is actually, you just kind of want to go ham here, and, and just take one out quickly. The only benefit I've got is that my Zweihander tends to do enough damage to sort of, um... Damn, that's bad. There we go, one dead kitty. We're on an animal murder spree today, I tell you. Right, there's only three. No oh, he's not dead. That's slightly awkward. Oh, shit! That's my head! That's my head! That's my head! Let me go! Bad pussy. Put me down. Put me down. I'm sure that blood's fine. It's just, uh... You know, for show. Meow. You only get 2,000 souls per one of those. Should be 10,000. These guys suck. I've had more deaths to these damn cats than probably anything else in the forest. For our trouble, we get some souls. And I think there's something else somewhere, but... Can we go up here? No, I think, that, I think that's it. Yeah, enjoy your stay in the forest. Don't get eaten. That's the general gist of it. Okay, we've actually got the ring now, so what we can do... Uh, oh, no, I actually don't want to leave. I want to go this way. I'm actually exactly where I want to be, so I'll probably just level up. I can get two levels out of this, so... Dex and Endurance... Dex is increasing my physical damage at this point, even though it's probably a little bit unnecessary. Oh, I should go human again. And what else have I got going on for me? Yeah, so Dex, physical damage. And the endurance, obviously, a bigger swing bar. And lighter equipment load. Though that's kind of irrelevant at this point. 
I think that kind of caps out around 40. And strength is 50, maybe? I don't know. Either way, I'm leaving strength at 40 for now and doing dex. So, one boss down. we got another to beat on. The next boss is the Four Kings. Oh, hello. Now, the Four Kings is... Uh, I wouldn't say they're difficult bosses. Actually, I'm not going to say that because last time I said that I died. I died. And that was not wise. So, I'm going to say they're really difficult bosses and I'm probably going to have a terrible time. There we go. That's how it works, right? If I say the opposite of what's going to happen? Eh. Luckily, they're not too far. We just got to... Uh, I better deal with this tree, otherwise he's going to follow me all the way down. Boop! All we have to do is make a little bit of a detour down this massive, massive wood. I don't know if you've seen me do this on the Let's Play yet. I can't remember if I cut it out. However, this is the... W I probably did show you, didn't I? But if I didn't, sorry, my bad. Uh, this is the opposite way where we went at the very start. Oh, I did talk about this. I remember talking about it now. Uh, so, which is nice. We can actually just, you know, go backwards. See things from a different angle. Blah, 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 blah. Either way, we don't need to worry about health too much. We can just drop pretty easily there. Drop again. And we've got a little bit more to go. And this is... I've been going down here a lot off camera. Stuff you probably haven't seen. Because uh, this is where the Dark Race live. Is in uh, New London Ruins. And I've been farming them pretty heavily. To get all the items we needed. Which is kind of cool. Onwards. I haven't kindled this fire. I possibly should have done. Eh, we'll see. Seven might be enough. If I make it through this next section as easy as I normally do. Now, if you don't know where we are, you'll you'll definitely recognise it very shortly. Because we opened up the gate to New Londo a lot earlier, didn't we? When we were doing, um... When we were upgrading our weapon and such. Now, the run is a little bit dodgy. But nothing awful. So what we did, we just scoot down the lift, which takes us to... Very close to filing shrine, amusingly. Whee! And what we always do, which I didn't do last time, obviously, is send the lift back up. So if you snuff it, yeah, I'm gonna wait. It's just polite to your future self if you die. And we're in the Valley of the Drakes. Now these drakes are super easy to juke. Normally you just run past them like so. And with our stamina, this is nice and easy. So we just scoot to this guy's left, run past him. We hang left here to scoot to make him fire here. We hang right here to make him do that. And right again to do that. Oh, I got clips. Okay, that's not too bad, actually. And that's it. We uh, we basically chopped off a huge amount of the uh, area. You got some dart race to deal with, but they're easy as pipe. You either parry them or you backstab them. Doesn't really matter what you do. Ordinarily, I'd stick... Actually, I might as well stick on the ring while I'm doing this. You'd stick on the gold ring for the ability to get chunks and slabs. Which is lovely. And if you're fortuitous enough, they will drop. If you're not, then they won't, and we'll have to be sad. Now, while we're doing this and killing this guy, we'll stick on... Uh, we'll get rid of the uh, PvP thing. Uh, PvE thing, we don't need that. And we'll put on the curses. Curses, curses, curses. There we go. Because I will need that curse a little bit shortly. Right. This is our friend. He goes splat. He pretty much has no hope. Good times. This is also our friend. He also gets horribly maimed by a well-timed repost. Beep. These guys look intimidating, and they're really, really dangerous. So you know, don't, don't, don't mess it about. It's really bad. This guy always goes splat because you can actually aim through. You can actually hit through that pretty easily. He doesn't know that though. Ah, he didn't die. That's unfortunate. Cool. He dropped a chunk. That was nice of him. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is take one Estus, one transient curse. We haven't got to worry about it later. We got six for the boss. I think that's plenty. I technically could be invaded here, but it's unlikely to say the least. Oh, come on. That was well timed for that. That one. Beep. Now, there is, if you're farming, there's a dick wraith behind that wall there. It's, uh, it's one of them fake walls. What we do, we just run forward and splat this guy. No, I missed him. Bogus. If you get if you get lucky, you can uh, kill them in one go. But I didn't quite get what I wanted to do like that. There we go. One should be dead. Oh, they're both dead. We got two chunks. Lovely. And there's one more to worry about. And I've got. Nah, I'm mostly at full health. I'm not too worried about that. 
this guy. This guy's great. He does a running charge. We parry him. Boop. Easy peasy. And if you want to do a farming run, that's how you do it. Then you just homeward bone, and that, that, that's pretty much Dark Roofs. Uh, we're not worrying about that because we're going to the boss. However, that means I need to put a different ring on, which is the Covenant of a Taurus. It means we can traverse the abyss. If we do not have this on, we just, well, die. It's pretty awkward. This is super cool. You had to run down this very, very deep stairwell to the abyss. It's very cool looking. I like, I like it. Don't get too dizzy either. <laughs> this boss can be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'm hoping to do this first time. Normally they behave and you can sort of uh, <clears throat> heal your way through it, more or less. But we'll see. Whee! Splat. This is the abyss. We need to find the first boss, Sharpish. There he is. Nope, that's a ghost. There. So we run over to meet him. We don't block. We're not interested in blocking. Which is interesting in savaging him. The only thing we're worried about is when he does a sort of soul-sucking move. Now, if we do this quick enough, we kill him before the next one shows up, and we can carry on. It's really off-putting because you can't see anything, so you have to try and... You have to remember that you got to do this completely... There he is. you got to do this completely sort of naked, so to speak. There we go. That's a bit of a nuisance, but it missed. Our poise is so good, we can just blast through this. That's bad. We don't want to be around the mid. I'm doing this a little bit slow, so what I'm going to do is burn this one. He'll die now. And then we just do this. There we go. Get a, free, a few free extra hits. We drink. You shouldn't need to drink more than once per king. There's the idea. Right. Keep an eye on the next king. We're a little bit slower on that one, so we should appear shortly. Depending on your damage, you might only get three kings. If you're really slow, you might get five, which is the worst case scenario. You don't want to be too far away from these guys. One. Two. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Three. And we should get another hit in here. Okay, that worked out well. Cool. Uh, might get lucky, might get lucky, might get lucky. Nope. Okay, we're going to have to fight one more then. We will get our fourth king. I missed my last shot, so sorry about that. And that's the four kings. They're, he's dead. They're, there's nothing really to worry about anymore. It's an intimidating fight because you can't see the floor and it looks kind of spooky, but in reality, there's not a lot to this. They just look super creepy and they're long and weird abyss creatures. That's annoying. And he's dead. There you go. Four kings. Goodbye, four kings. Pop. Spooky. Still dark down here. Let's run to the bonfire. But we should see if we light the bonfire a second. I don't know if we'll see him yet, so let's rest a minute. I don't know if we've got to come back and leave, but in theory... I can't see him. We should have a friend around here somewhere. Unless I've done something wrong. Maybe I've got to leave and come back. Let me try that a minute. Let me get a filing shrine and then come back. We can also get a really cool set near filing shrine as well. Which I'll have a look at. I thought he appeared straight away, so I might have stuffed up my co my plan with the Covenant. In theory, as long as you don't talk to what's-his-face, it shouldn't matter. The Abyss. There it is. If he didn't talk to Framt, uh, but it might be you got to talk to him before putting the... Um, seal down. No, he's not here. He's definitely not here, is he? I don't see any spooky faces. Just strange. I thought he'd be here. I might have knobbed up something. Maybe you have to invade somebody first? Ugh, I'll have to look at that. Anyway, uh, let's go. So we've done two. The remaining 
the remaining one to get then. We've done Seath, we've done that. We've got the Demon Ruins to do. So I guess we can do the Demon Ruins next. Yeah, why not? Whee! I should probably level up as well. So we've got a couple of bosses to go through, and we've got a Covenant to do. So let's do the Covenant stuff while we're here. Now this lovely lady, this is important, so we need to quickly pop. Uh, we got six twins, let's just use that. It's 22, and then we do uh, 18 more, I'd say. Now we have 40. What we do, we rejoin the Covenant with her. Uh, enter the Covenant. This is important for the next thing we're going to do in the game. And then, we're very nice, we give her, we offer her humanity. Now you haven't got to do this one at a time anymore, which is bloody lovely. So we offer her 30 humanity. It makes her feel a lot better. Here you go, lovely lady. Have 30 humanity on me. And we get Chaos Storm, isn't that great? Bye! Oh yes, I should probably level up, shouldn't I? Uh, we get two levels out of that, do we? Okay, let's do that then. Actually, no, let's do... let's do that. Go! Cool. This is an area we... Di I don't think we explored here at all yet. I can't remember if I popped in or not. I don't think I did. This is the Demon Ruins. It's uh, a relatively... Eh, mostly a boring sort of area, to be honest. And it sort of leads into a slightly worse looking area as well, but it has a shitload of bosses and some more, some interesting things going on. So what we're going to do, we have a fire ring on. Dong! So I'm just trying the bell. I actually really like hearing the bells. You didn't used to hear them at all. It's nice. The bell tells it there. 